What's going on you guys? This is Trent here at Rexburg Motorsports here to do another machine overview with you. Now today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to talk about how to find a good used snowmobile. Sledding season is coming up and there is nothing worse than getting onto your new to you used snowmobile, getting up into the mountains and having it break down. So what we did is I went back and I talked to the service manager, I talked to the service riders and some of the techs about what we look at when we're both looking at customer sleds for the preseason checkover, as well as our trade inspections when we're looking at snowmobiles to bring in for our used inventory. These are gonna be great things for you to look at when you're looking at a snowmobile so that you can know that you're getting into a sled that's gonna give you some good times instead of just heartache. Okay, so used snowmobiles, they're always hard. When you take a snowmobile out, you typically beat it like a drum, and so they've got a short lifespan. In fact, a joke around here is typically my favorite brand is brand new. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you're getting as long as it's new. But when you're looking at snowmobiles, when they range from between 11 and 20 grand for a brand new sled, depending on what model you're looking for to get out into the big deep mountains, a lot of people use use sleds to get into the mountains at a bit of a more of a budget. You know, so we typically here at Rexburg Motorsports in our used inventory, we've got sleds that range between, you know, five and ten thousand dollars. And when you're looking at that range, you know it's gonna have a few miles on it, it's gonna have some modifications that are always good to look for, but you always want to make sure to go through a good use sled with a vine tooth comb to make sure it's not going to leave you stranded out in the mountains. So the first thing that you're going to want to start out is let's look over the motor. We want to look over the motor of this thing, make sure it's healthy. How do you do that? The first thing that we look at is we look at compression ratios. So if you've got a compression gauge, go ahead and take it with you to a used sled that you're going to check out to check those compressions. You're going to want to make sure that the compression is both even between the two cylinders, that there's not much variance in between those cylinders because that's going to pre-wear your crank on these two and three cylinders in some instances sleds. And then you're going to want to make sure that that compression ratio is high enough to be still in that spec window that the manufacturer gives for these sleds. Another thing that we look over when it comes to the motor, and just to kind of give you this list, we look over the exhaust system, if there's any cracks, if there's anything that looks a little off with that exhaust system, we make sure the pull cord is in good shape and the, the recoil start system is still working smoothly and feeling good. We look over those spark plugs when we pull those out. Spark plugs are only a few bucks, but again, you wanna look for those things so you've got some good, good ideas as to how this machine's gonna be running when you take it home. We also look over the engine mounts, make sure they're not broken or missing in some cases. We look over just everything that has to do with that engine. In fact, a big thing that you're gonna to wanna to look at is the coolant. How does it smell? Does it smell burnt? Does it smell like the sled's been overheated a lot? Does it smell like exhaust gases? So it could lead you to believe that the head gaskets are bad or that there's a, a leak somewhere. So exhaust gases are getting into your coolant. We also look over the intake boots. We look over everything with the fuel system to make sure that, again, you're not gonna be worrying about the thing starving for fuel. We look over the electrical components. Does the kill switch work? Do your hand warmers and thumb warmers work? Does the high beam switch work? Does reverse work? Does the brake light work? Everything that you can look over on this sled is a good thing to check out. Then the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to look at is the clutching systems. Now these belt drive clutch systems, we look over quite a few little things to make sure that the clutch setup is ready to rock and roll. So we look over the roller bearings, we look over the weights, we make sure everything moves as it should. We check the overall belt deflection, we look at the belt condition to make sure that clutch setup is looking good. A belt for one of these things ranges between $200 and $300 or thereabouts. And so you wanna make sure that belt's not gonna be, you know, wearing unevenly, so, to, so as to not give you all the performance that you're looking for with these awesome machines. From the clutch system, you go into the track setup. How does the track look? Are there missing or broken lugs? Does the track look bad? 
again, typically speaking, you know, the outside of the track is going to have some of the fraying going on. That's really quite typical. Even our demo machines that we tend to put anywhere from 500 to 1,000 miles on gets a little bit of that fraying on the outside of the track. So that's pretty typical. But are there spots inside the track that look bad? Are there lugs that are missing? Are there spots where the rubber's been ripped off? Those are big things. A track is very expensive. You're looking at upwards, you know, $1,000 and more for a track. And that's going to be something that you're not going to, again, want to spend when you're looking to get into a sled on a budget. As you're looking over that track, another thing that you can look over is the overall skid assembly. Are those rails bent, broken? How do the high facts look? Are they burnt? Are they worn out? Then we look over the chassis. How are the A-arms looking? Are they bent? Are they, do they look like they've been hit a lot by stuff? Is all the paint gone? You know, you want to look over the, the A-arms. You want to look over the bulkhead. You want to make sure that everything's straight and everything is whole and intact. Look over those things because, again, everything will add up. When you're looking at a used machine, again, typically these snowmobiles are used pretty hard, and so you want to look over everything to make sure that everything is in working condition. Are the shocks leaking? Are they feeling as they should? If you push down on it, does it spring back up like there's little resistance from that shock, or does it feel nice and controlled? You're going to want to look over these things because, again, everything costs money. The last thing you want to do when you're jumping in on a budget is spend a lot more money on repairs. Used snowmobiles are still a great way to go. They're a great way to get into the mountains and get into having a great time out on the snow, but you've got to do it wisely. We always want to make sure that we're getting the best machines for our in-stock inventory and making sure that we take care of customers' machines when we bring them in. But a big thing that you're going to want to do is go into it wisely so you know exactly what you're going to be getting into as you take a machine out into the deep mountains. But if you've got any questions about finding a good used sled here, come on in here to Rexburg Motorsports. We'd love to show you what we've got in stock as well as help get you lined up with our service department and they can help answer any questions that you've got about a used sled. But thanks so much again for watching this video. And if you would, consider hitting that thumbs up button. We'd love to make sure that we're putting in content into YouTube that you guys are enjoying. And thanks again so much for watching. Have a great day.